Right, today we have a leak that delves into the possibilities of Apple rebranding the bigger iMac as the iMac Pro. And I do agree with this to be honest, and so let's delve into it. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so the information's coming from Dylan DKT, a pretty credible source and so no salt is needed for this report. Right, so the report's pretty simple, and that is, March out the MacBook Air becoming the MacBook, like I discussed in a previous video, Apple does allegedly plan to rename the bigger iMac as the iMac Pro. And well, this makes complete sense in my opinion, so let me delve into why. And that begins with the fact the bigger iMac is not only a size increase, but also a power increase. So I never really understood why the smaller and bigger iMac fell under the same name, because these machines were targeting completely different consumers. On one hand, the small iMac has always been for regular consumers, it's the iMac for families, schools, regular Joes, and so the iMac name makes a ton of sense. But the bigger iMac has always packed the power for professionals and has always appealed to creative professionals, for example, and so I don't think the regular iMac name for that product makes a ton of sense. Since of course many might be confused that the 27 inch iMac is a regular iMac and so to make it clear that this is a pro machine, I do think it's about time Apple does add the pro suffix to the bigger iMac. So if Apple does this, I feel like the Mac lineup would be very easy to understand. You have the M2 machines, those would be the MacBook and the iMac, they have no suffix, they're just the regular models for the regular consumers. And then of course we have the M1 Pro and the M1 Max, these are the Pro chips, and so they go into the Pro machines like the MacBook Pro and the iMac Pro. And so yes, giving the Pro name to the iMac brings parity with the MacBook lineup and I think that makes it much easier for consumers to understand which one to buy. And that's the main thing to note. This big iMac's gonna get way more powerful chips, and so of course, calling this just the iMac alongside the M1 iMac kinda seems a little confusing in my opinion. I mean, the bigger iMac could be getting the M1 Max Duo that has 20 CPU cores and a whopping 64 GPU cores, and while the M1 is gonna pale in comparison, so I do think the power of the bigger iMac justifies the pro name. And also do remember that of course, we are gonna see slight design changes with the bigger iMac, for example, black bezels, a space gray option, also maybe a thicker chassis, these slight design changes do warrant a new name in my opinion. And yes, I know a common rebuttal point is that iMac Pro kinda makes no sense because iMac, as Steve Jobs said, is a consumer name, Pro is Pro, and so how can a consumer product be a Pro machine? And well, that is a valid point, but do note, Apple's names kinda make no sense anymore because we do have the iPad Pros, the iPhone Pros, and they also technically make no sense, but that did not stop Apple from using them. So I do think Apple and most of their consumers can look past that if of course the lineup is easier to understand. And I do think the iMac Pro branding would simplify the lineup. Anyways, those are my thoughts, but tell me in the comments below guys, do you think Apple's gonna rebrand the bigger iMac as the iMac Pro? Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the M2 MacBook Air and on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.